Professor Nzimande urged learners not to shy away from science, technology and engineering and math subjects. He raised concern about the decline in the number of learners who take up the subjects to matric. He urged educators to join government's efforts to encourage learners to do STEM subjects. But some teachers say this is not an easy task. We don't have enough facilities. When you, when you speak of laboratories, for example, we have the, the bare minimum when it comes to the classroom, getting learners doing activities there. But when it comes to them doing um, experiments that, are, that they can touch, that they can feel, because that helps a lot. We have the bare minimum and we really need more resources, we really need help from the department. While Nzimande acknowledged challenges such as access to resources, he has proposed virtual laboratories, among others, as one of the possible solutions to address the challenge. This has got to be combined with mobile laboratories. That's another solution. A bit more expensive, but if, if in a particular rural area we have got a truck that is a laboratory that visits schools on separate days, it's much better than actually not having anything. Because ideally every school that has got science programs must have laboratories. But we are still far from them. Meanwhile, the winners of the school debate on artificial intelligence shared their thoughts on the advantages and drawbacks of AI. AI doesn't, doesn't have empathy, emotions, so we also need that as students because uh, AI is not going to say, I believe in you, I trust you, you can do this, press on. But a teacher can show that empathy that you can do it, you can press on. Exhibits of several innovations by students from the Tswana University of Technology were on display at the launch of the National Science Week. Balentlem Tetwa, SABC News. Johannesburg.